Hello everyone, this is Chris with StickerFab. Hope you're having a great day. As you can see, my setup is wild. I got tons of stuff going on, always. And now we've added the printer. The printer is going 100 miles per hour, trying to get all these new designs printed out because you guys just keep on ordering them. You guys are the real MVP of the operation here. But today we're going to talk about these auxiliary switch labels. They go on your full-size Bronco. Now, a lot of people have been talking about these and talking about different options. And one of the things we're trying to do is a photoluminescent version. Now, if properly charged, uh, it will shine kind of like a normal button. However, you do need a lot of light to charge those and the location that they're in. Uh, don't get a lot of direct light, but if you're off-roading or planning to go off-roading, hold a flashlight up to them or another light source uh, for 10, 15 minutes before you go on the trails, you should be able to see all of those lights in the middle of the night. Even if you give it like a quick shine, just to figure out what's going on, um, they will illuminate for a little bit. But we're gonna print them out in photoluminescent paper, which is really expensive. The paper alone is uh, almost $8 a square foot. Um, these are photoluminescent and your options are going to vary. Uh, you could have it uh, with white text or you can have it with black text the this looks really clean however uh, if you want a lot more light or you want it a little bit more easily identifiable um, it is kind of easier to read in my opinion uh, especially in the dark when you have a lighter background so one of the things we were looking at was where do we put these things do we put them on the switch or do we put them um up above here i decided that they would be best uh put on these switches um just hit the switch like this shouldn't damage them they should give you about three years of life at least um because they're out of the sun that's especially good for them um right here i'm only five eight on a good day and really my scene position it was too hard to see here also they don't stick as well to that surface. They actually stick pretty well. This surface wasn't prepped, but they haven't come uh, up at all. And I've had them on here for about a week. Um, moved on to other projects, came back. Uh, I saw on Bronco 6G that you guys really want these and you really want a status update. So I uh, made the listing and now we just got to shoot the installation, which we're doing now, and uh, give you guys all the details we can. Um, there's also an option for uh, over laminate or no over laminate the over laminate is like a rock guard uh, paint protection film it'll make these uh, really really durable so it's a two dollar upcharge uh, just the material I think costs 50 cents but it is a process to over laminate we have to over laminate the switches then we have to put them back in the machine and cut them out again so a little bit more lengthy process but if you're really trying to get the most longevity out of these switches I would probably opt in for that. You don't know how dirty you're gonna get out on the trails, if you're gonna be in the mud, if, you know, who knows? So your hands might not be 100% clean. They might be a little rough. If you're worried about that, go ahead and get that over laminate. Let me go get those switches and we'll put some up here. First, before we go out there, I wanted to show you, since we already have some printing out, this would be black text on Badlands uh, orange. So we're actually using the same Badlands orange vinyl that we use to uh, decorate all the rest of the vehicle and just printing directly onto it. And order already came through. You guys are insane. You're ordering before we can even get these videos and media out. But let's go over to the Bronco now. Okay, so you'll always hear me talking about temperature and what the current temperature is, the ideal temperature and everything. And if you watched this video from yesterday, I was installing these and it was a little bit below the recommended temperature. I was like, uh, Chris, don't listen to Chris. He doesn't know anything. So this morning, uh, sure enough, the ends had peeled off, had to get the extension cord out, had to get that heat gun, heat up the edges and get it all installed in there. So Temperature does play an important part about how long these stickers are going to stick, how well they're going to stick. They could stick forever until you want to peel them off on purpose if you install them and kind of heed my warnings. So it's a little cool right now. I would say it's 67 degrees. I 
getting a bunch of notifications on my watch I can't even see. We will take those off. Um, if you want and you're up north, go ahead and go on a trip. Throw these in the back. Warm up the cabin. And when you come back, clean that off with your microfiber cloth. Something that won't leave anything uh, stuck to the switches. And interior cleaner. Make sure that's free of armor all or anything. You just want sticker adhesive onto that rubber. Um, yeah, and then your cabin will be warm. The stickers will be warm. And you'll have a good experience. Let me put this on the mount and I'll show you that installation. Okay, so I'm going to take even one more brief pause and I'm going to show you what the switches uh, look like again and then go ahead and check out this photo of them illuminated at night. All right, now we're going to go into removing these. Let's take them down one by one. So they're really stuck on there, actually. That's good. The ones up here, I don't think stuck that well. Definitely not as well. Okay, so I'll finish this up. I don't know if you can tell, but I did get a flashlight and shine that just for a few seconds. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but yeah, even in the light, they do glow a little if you get them nice and charged. So all of those were that photoluminescent paper. The ones we're installing now are the Plain Jane. It's white text on a black background stickers so they're a little bit more flimsy than those um if you do get them laminated uh for durability reasons they will be a little bit more uh stiff um i guess i'm just gonna pick out some rando lights i mean i should pick out the stuff that i'm definitely not going to use let's go ahead and grab a bronco so when you're grabbing these off the paper if it starts to peel off the backing paper, and it, it, it will be like paper under it, um, kind of cardboardish, start at another location. So I'm gonna recommend a dry install. You kind of just give it up in that crease, match the angles, and then push it down. It's pretty simple. So we use Bronco. What else will I not use? Um, Jet assisted takeoff. It's a funny one to put on, let's say, a switch that you're not using. I don't know even if we have ejecto seato cuz. If we don't, we kind of need that one. I don't think it's in here. Maybe we'll make a version two. If you guys want ejecto seato cuz, uh, comment in the comment section below and we'll make sure to get that added on. Ooh. All right, so that one's a little crooked. Should have spent a little bit more time doing that one. Probably won't have garage because I do already have the home link right there. So maybe grab it to where you can kind of see that top edge make sure that top edge is laying down straight and push down um deploy shoot i should keep that um wife mute Mmm, kind of want that. Husband mute, we don't want that. I'll change these up. The wife mute and the kids mute, that's, that's a pretty good one, though. So these weren't designed by me. Uh, thank you, Sean, 
for getting these designed. Thanks for helping out the community. If you guys use his link on Bronco 6G, he will get a little affiliate compensation. If you guys are on social media a lot, or your vehicle is one of the two, and you can drive sales to our website, you can also be part of that affiliate program. Just send me a message. Um, some of these are so good that I just don't want to use them. But of course I could print out more, so I shouldn't even worry about this. Put that guy right there. So, again, these are the simple um, ones. The most basic set, 1295, gets you one whole set of these. There's three sets printed right here. But that's what it looks like. So, I mean, there are six switches. That's kind of a lot. Other people be in your vehicle camping with you, off-roading with you. And if you want to make it easily identify what switch is switch, check these guys out. All right, thank you guys for um, all your orders. Thank you for recommending other people and products. Um, please like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things that were coming out for the 2021-2022 full-size Ford Bronco.